exactly that space we were talking about. Um, and I've been there before. We, we actually did interviews there uh, previously as well, um, talking to some of these companies. Um, but it, it, I, it's a nice wide open space. I love like if you tell in the background of these pictures here, um, those are garage doors and that's their office that they're given. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, but uh, the couple of them that I, I ran into and started talking with uh, this time, uh, this there's one called uh, one group in there called Sikahu, and this is <clears throat> a card connecting with local home improvement pros. And uh, the idea is really to, you know, the the general line is really kind of Uberize uh, uh, home improvement uh, workers, right? Contractors, huh. so they can find you know, people in their neighborhoods to, you know, find work with. And, um, you know, uh, it was kind of, and I, I did have the discussion. I was like, well, what do you think about like the Amazon thing when I can find a plumber and everything? Mm -hmm. I was like, yep, we're paying attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I didn't know this. I didn't know uh, Google released something similar as well. Oh, I didn't know that. So, um, I, so, so I think there's going to be a lot of like, well, you know, everybody's kind of running towards the same goal. These guys are in there as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of where these guys end up. You know, I'm, you know, honestly, it looks like it's one of those things that if they do something uh, on their back end that the other guys haven't yet, yeah, maybe get an acquisition out of it or something, right? Um, but you know, that's kind of the way some of these go. Uh, really good, really good talk with um, Zach over there, uh, who is the co-founder. Um, but I think everybody's a co-founder on this level. <laughs> so uh, so uh, it's seekahoo.com if you want to see what they're doing. And again, it's, uh, you know, it, actually, I think that's Zach right there. Uh, that's the home improvement guy. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Um, and also the other one, uh, this guy was from Latvia that I talked with. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Armin. Armin Bimitov out there. Um, this was an interesting concept. They got they got somebody. Uh, actually, they got a guy from CMU helping them with the algorithm for this. And on the surface, it's uh, travelwits.com, and uh, it looks like uh, just another travel uh, kind of uh, web, you know website. I'm just plugging some dates, and I'm always looking to see how expensive it is to go to San Francisco these days. And uh, but the, but the idea is, as they flesh this thing out, is now you notice to say searching for airports within driving distances, right? And it's taking not just like finding a flight to San Francisco. It's also saying like the idea he was giving me was like, okay, you're looking for a beach vacation. And actually this is telling me it might be cheaper for me to take a train. <laughs> How long does the train take? 49 hours and 59 minutes. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. Well, actually, so that's the, that's actually the more expensive <clears throat> one. There's an 11 hour one for $120 to Chicago. Oh, and it, oh, okay, so you go one one to step by step on this one, um, but it's actually taking you know looking looking at that uh, the example I gave is so okay you want a beach vacation it's so much to go to Bermuda or maybe it's four hours to drive to Myrtle Beach so it's really maximizing your budget mm -hmm. in that and taking all these factors like maybe it's better for you to drive maybe it's better to take a train to, than than a than a plane because you think most of those things you go to you're just looking for flights right period. And they bundle in a hotel. This is, you know, and, and, you know, New York City. How many ways can we get to New York City? We know, right? Mega bus, mega bus, train, uh, Greyhound, plane. I've done three of the four of those, right? Driving, of course. Mm -hmm. And it factors that in factors. I think gas prices and everything. And say, what is the cheapest way for you to do this? So, you're like, I got a thousand dollars. What, what kind of vacation can I do? Um, I, you know, I think I might want to do this for my anniversary. We should just go to Erie because we know that's cheap. Right. Mm -hmm. But what else is there that I'm not really thinking about? You that's, know? that's really cool. So if they get this going and the algorithm really works out, um, I think that, that that could be a really uh, a fun thing for for getting my ass out of the house more. So for one thing, what was the what was the website? Travelwits.com. Combine driving with flying and save big. So there you go. Drive, fly, save on the back of the card there so uh so thank you everybody out there and, and again um uh the hospitality out there i love talking with everybody about what's going on and what's going on in the industry